<laughs> there are a lot of Democrats that are in elected office in the heartland. They care about it. They talk about it. John Tester is a great example. Heidi Heitkamp, who ended up losing her election. I mean, I, I don't think that it's one of those cases. I think that Greg is right. Why is it the depositor's fault? And why, for some of these companies, if you're running a business, it is not your responsibility to check on whether your bank is messing up at this level every couple of months. And this is a story that started being reported months ago. The Wall Street Journal started talking about when you have interest rate hikes at this level and people are buying up treasury bonds, which are not supposed to be sold again in five to 10 years you're supposed to get, and then suddenly they're gonna turn around and start selling them, the market is not going to reflect what the actual value of, that, of it is. And something that matters a lot to this, and Dana said it happened so quickly, Banking, a bank run is, the tail is old as time, right? But being able to do a bank run off your phone is what isn't, right? That a few people can get on Twitter, start tweeting out, get out, get out, get out, and suddenly $42 billion needs to leave your coffers within 24 hours. I mean, that's yeah. an impossibility and something that we have to deal with. I want to say something about what the Post said. You know, if it was a, a MAGA bank, it basically was. Peter Thiel was one of the top five biggest VCs there, huge backer of Donald Trump 2016, 2020. In 2022, he resigned from the board of Meta. He was one of the original board members so that he could back J.D. Vance. He could join a Trump-aligned pack for J.D. Vance and Blake Masters. Um, the, this embarrassing thing, seven, whatever Jesse was talking about, all the wokeness. If you look at who's running that bank, it's a bunch of white guys and three women. And the jobs that those three women have, by the way, are roles that traditionally women have. HR, mm. the CMO, and then the chief risk officer, who obviously was not doing a great job there. So, are you blaming <laughs> so you're saying that we needed more white guys? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm really not saying that oh, at all. That's what I heard. And in terms of ESG investing, so I was looking around for Republicans who believe